Yeah, boy, this is Coach Amtamayo. Back on the mic, commentating. For the final race of the two-day race. 15 seconds, boo, five seconds. Any moment, the gate's gonna drop, and it did drop. And looks like a green machine is in front. Dalawa po, dalawa ang kawap. Mike. So, Napat or any Reliosa brothers. But look at this. Rameto is in second. Where is Mangoso? Makikita natin as the dust clears away. Napat once again. Mangosong! Wow! <laughs> Scrubbing hard and flying really low. That's how he passed the top two in front, which is Sarilyosa and Ramento. So yung move po na yan, he called the Baba Scrub. Yep, shout out to James Baba Store. So, looks like ito na naman ang battle. No, no battle! Napat went down! A hard crash for Terence Napat! He went sideways and... Uh... Oh my goodness! I'm sad! He went sideways dun sa rollers! And from first to last place! Oh my goodness! I hope he is fine! I posted a picture of his bloody hands. Kanina in our page, uh, MX Messiah. And uh, I hope he's fine. The medics are there. Meanwhile, it's Mangosong in front. Ralph Ramento in second. We'll see. And third is McLean Aguilar. What, what a ride for McLean Aguilar. So McLean Aguilar, son of Glenn Aguilar, is in third. Let's see. And I think I'm not sure kung may nadamay sa sa sample ni Terence. Hope wala naman. So Mangosong has a a second lead over uh, second place from Mento and Aguilar in third. Jeric Mitra in fourth. JC Reliosa in sixth. Jeff, oh, si Jeff Boy pala, Reliosa ang nadamay sa semplang. Meanwhile, Bubuy Antonio is now in 6. Jeff Boy Reliosa is in 7. So, tingnan natin. So, let's see. We had the uh, young guns. McLean Aguilar. Actually, not so young anymore. Same age as Ramento. And, uh, He's in third, so we'll put this uh, good start. Give him the boost. So that was a hard fall for Napat. Napat is still not rejoining the race. But uh, he's up, he's on his feet. And our Abra medics are very, very efficient to check on him. I hope he's fine. So Napat will not be able to rejoin the, the race anymore. That was a hard crash. He is a warrior because he pushed the limit. He does push the limit. Ah, ito nga pala si Mangosong and si Rameto ang naging pambato ng Team Philippines in the recently concluded uh, Motocross of Nations. And the training that they had in America for them, tinan natin na uh, it's really showing here how uh, Ed Ahead, they are in the pack right now. So, Mangosong in front. We'll see if Ralph can have that uh, speed right off the bat. Kasi nga, he's called the diesel of Philippine motocross. Kasi uh, he, as he warms up, tsaka siya umiinit. Pero he needs to latch on. Bornok, meanwhile, have a two-second lead. And McLean Aguilar is dropping. Uh, now, he, they have 12 seconds between Ralph and McLean. So, uh, we'll see. But uh, there's no sign that uh, 
that there's no sign that Jeric Mitra is catching McLean Aguilar. So McLean has changed the bike. Maybe he yung ni McLean yung bike niya and yung kawasaka. Meanwhile, let's see what Jeric Mitra, 817 content can do. But you cannot count out JC Rellosa and Buboy Antonio. Kasi they are just behind Jeric Mitra and from the races earlier. Lahat naman sila talagang hirap with regards to fitness, but this is the last race of the day. Two day back to back race, so not much time to recover. So tingnan natin. This is the strong point of Mangosong as he can do re carry so much speed and momentum kasi ini-scrap po niya. Pero tandaan po natin, yung pong pag-scrap, nakakapagod yan. So tingnan natin, In the first two laps, born of Mangosong was Alam niyo yun, grabe yung scrub niya to fly low. Pero tanan niyo ngayon, he's conserving his energy. He's controlling the pace na naman. Kasi to scrub is also to, to really uh, exert energy. Then this is a long motor, five minutes in. Meanwhile, Terence Napat's bike is... Uh, and mechanic is, has... Uh, it's not it's on the safe zone na. It's, it's running. Wala na sa gila na rin sa... So the lead of Mangosong over uh, Ramento is, da is now just over a second. So Kanina, the previous lap, Ramento and McLean Aguilar, the lead, is 12 seconds. So ibang pace talaga sila because the, lead, the gap now between Ramento and Aguilar is now 18 seconds. So it means 6 seconds per lap faster. Itong pace nito in front sa third position. Can you understand kung gaano kalaki yung 6 seconds per lap? Now, Ralph has closed the gap. He is now under 1 second, 0.97 to be exact. So, Ralph has picked up the pace and uh, trying to catch Mangoso, trying to win this race. So the gap, the gap po, imagine, the gap na po has stretched now to 21 seconds from Ralph over McLean Aguilar. Ang laki, palaki ng palaki. And I would suspect that uh, this gap will be 27 seconds if they're 6 seconds faster than 3rd position. So mga song in front, Ralph Mento is doing a great job. Ralph Mento, what can I say about Ralph Mento? I'm, I met this kid, magkapatid po yan, Ralph and CK, 10 years ago when they went to MMF and they were racing. And they were racing the amateur open production pa lang nun. And then, uh, naging pro-light po si Ralph. Kalaban niyang po niya itong si McLean. Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, before, McLean is a, was a faster kid than, uh, alam niyo yun, Romento. But now, look at this now. Look how after 10 years yung inaakala ko na mabagal noon na bata cause he was like always in 5th place, 6th place so yung mga riders dyan huwag kayong magigive up hindi ko mood natatalo kayo sa mini days ninyo novice days ninyo eh ganun na forever no work hard, look at this, Ralph Ramento is now the fastest rider inside the track he actually has caught Bornok and he is just 0 0.4, 0 0.6 seconds behind. Wala pang isang segundo. So we'll see here in the rollers. He is trying to learn. I don't know what's the strategy of uh, Ramento, pero malamang he wants to learn the lines, the rhythm na gamit ni Bornok. And, uh, alam mo yun, mga linya na ginagamit niya. And just learn, you know, and then uh, conserve energy. And then later, Mapag-aralan niya how he can set up Borno. Pero, you know, what can I say about the King of Philippine Motocross? This, this guy has no weakness. He's in his prime. He has nothing to prove. He's on his early 30s. Pero, he's not fading. Parang palakas pa rin ng papalakas ang kanyang ride. That's why he's called KPH, King of Philippine Motocross. So, the, the gap is now 1.3 seconds between 
Warnock and Ramento. Oh, Ramento cannot. Ramento needs to counter. Last lap, Ramento was faster, but this lap, clearly it was Mangosong. So Mangosong, if you're Ramento, it's like, when I'm about to catch him, and when you're about to believe in yourself, bigla namang itong si Mangosong eh, will drop the hammer. And we have a battle for third. Ito ang magandang battle for third. Now, McLean has dropped 33 seconds behind the leader. So, the battle for third is between McLean Aguilar and Bubu Antonio. I don't know kung the camera can look at that video. The video of uh, battle for third. Kuya, kaya nyo ba yung tingnan battle for third? Kasi walang battle sa unahan. So, here's a battle for third in the finish line. Ayan. Aguilar versus Buboy Antonio. McLean Aguilar is probably three or four years older than Buboy Antonio, 22 years old, the ace rider from Honda JMS. Look at this, Jake, Buboy Antonio and the move. Oh, just like that, Buboy Antonio, ah, cover. McLean Aguilar, and we have a new third placer. Buboy Antonio, probably the youngest pro rider here right now. Has his Kuya McLean and now is in third position. So, ito pong si Bubu Antonio. What can I say? Son of the. Yung dad po niya, I see John John Antonio is also a racer and a rider. And uh, actually, I raced against him. Nito na, nung bumalik ako na racing 2019 sa Asian Motocross. I saw Bubu Antonio tackling that uh, rollers and he went sideways as well. So, dun po, medyo nag-sideways si Terence kanina. So, ibig sabihin, durug-durug na po ang racetrack. Masyado na. Oh! Mangosong to this bike! In the sand section! And now, it's Ramento in the lead! Wow! Now, we have a battle! This is the break that Ramento to Diesel is waiting for. Alam nyo, kaya ho nagsustol yan. They're using... At all, uh, alam nyo, yung sand, mas maraming resistance. And then yung sand po, and sometimes when uh, hindi sila nakapag low gear or nakakambyo, or they got into the, hindi na kailangan promeno, yung sand, nagiging preno. So pag medyo mali yung cambio nila, dahil hindi sila nakakambyo, probably dumulas yung pa. Ganyan po yung nangyayari. So now, Mang Osong is in second, and he is 6.69 seconds behind Ramento. Tandaan natin, Ramento is the diesel. We are 12 minutes in. So, walong minuto na lang plus two laps. So, around 10 minutes pa to. So, if I'm Ralph Ramento, I'm gonna sprint my way. Or is Bornoff gonna be smart? na hindi na niya ahabulin si Ramento dahil wasak-wasak na ang racetrack. Okay, you have to understand. Bornock, even if he gets second, will still get the overall. Pero you know, this is a game of motocross. You don't, you, you wanted to win, you want a sweep. And I don't know what's the strategy na gagawin ni Bornock. Makikita natin sa lap time. If I'm Rob Ramento, this is the moment that I've been waiting for. That I can hang with Napat and Mangosong and that I can win. Oh, they're going sideways. That rear end the, of the bike is swapping from left to right. Ganun na po kagrabe ang kondisyon ng ating racetrack. Okay, the gap of Ramento over Mangosong has grown from 6 points something seconds to 8 seconds. So, Ramento is really pushing the pace right now. So, the current running order is Ramento, Mangosong, Antonio, Aguilar. So, inaanag po po yung ibang lider. So, mga layo. I think it's... Kanina kasi si Jeric Mitra of 87 Army is panlima. Pero mukhang si JC Reliosa na panglima. At uh, JC... At uh, Jeric Mitra dropped to 6 position. <laughs> so, you know, looks like Born of Mangosong is trying to be smart here. Because uh, he's not, it doesn't look like he's charging at all. 
and the lead of Romento has grown bigger. Now, 9.39 seconds na po. So, mukha nga pong yun po ang strategy ni Mangosong. He is just trying to finish this race because any moment, this track can beat you. Dahil ganun na po, ka-technical because of the wear and tear of the track. And not just that, it's a two-day race. Race kahapon eh now. So look at this. The battle for third is still on. McLean Aguila is still behind Boo Boy Antonio. And that battle for third, meron lang nakabang doon, lingering. Si JC Reliosa from Bicol. Inyo, magkapatid ho yan. Currently in last place, Jepoy Reliosa. And si JC Reliosa panganay at bunso. Pero ang pinaka-accomplish, I think, in their motocross race sa kanila ay yung panggitna niyan si Enzo, the Bionic Reliosa. Kasi uh, Enzo is uh, now entering the service of the BFP. Kaya uh, hindi na nakakarera. Pero that the son of La Re Lorenzo La Re Le Reliosa, jefe ho ng, uh, ng Bureau of Power Protection sa Beacon, here we go. So, ang mga anak, like father, like sons, hindi lang sila mga firemen, sila rin ay mga motocross racers. So, uh, tingnan natin if JC can catch McLean Aguilar. Kasi kanina, nagkapanggahan sila eh. It was a racing incident. Nothing's at fault dito sa sand section. So, what a ride for Rob Romento. Ano mo masasabi ko dito sa bata na to? He was a slow or a late bloomer, kami say. I've never thought pagkakalaban niya dati yung the likes of Jacob Orbe, McLean Aguilar, Jeff Borrelosa. Lagi nga uh, panalo. Uh, uh, yun, madalas si Jacob. So, the gap has grown to 13 seconds now. 13 seconds. He is back by uh, his dad, Ryan Ramento. And, uh, Supported by Fox and uh, Mangosong is just cruising, trying to. As I hear his engine, he's using a taller gear so the suspension will work more, the frame will flex even better. Ibig sabihin, trying to be safe, and uh, yeah, he's giving this race to Ralph Metal. Because Bornock will have the overall, whether he's in win or second. He still got the overall kasi po ang panalo ho yesterday was si Mangosong sorry yeah Mangosong and second po si Napat and third si Ramento so now with a 1-2 it will edge a 3-1 kasi point system po yan with the first place with a 25 and third place with 20 so and then a first place 25 Plus 22, so lamang na 2 points si Bornock for the overall. Sayang si Terence, napan, pero ganun ka bumpy na tong track. And uh, it bit napat first, and then it bit Mangosong second. Grabe yung swap ni Terence kanina. From this uh, viewpoint, ang bilis ng mga pangyayari. And uh, it, it was good that uh, walang rider behind him na ganong kalapit. Kasi talagang sprinter po talaga ito si Napat. And si Mangosong naman is uh, nasa side. At walang tinamaan, buti naman. Kasi that will be really, really ugly. And uh, scary, painful. So, Rameto, Ralph. Approaching the 20 minute marker plus two laps. Grabe guys, sobrang pagod na. I can see sa, some of the riders not even clearing the double jumps na simpleng simple. Ibig sabihin, arm pump na po sila. Right? How about this kid? Rob Pramendo of uh, Fox Racing outfit and then Shaders, that's their family business. The lead has grown. So 
Oh, somebody crashed. Oh, no. It was a photographer trying to get the lower angle. So the gap between second start of two laps. Tapos na 20 minutes, two more laps to go. And layo po ni Bornoff for third. And he's got the overall at this moment. And uh, secured at third position is uh, Buboy Antonio. What can I say about Buboy Antonio? You know, Buboy Antonio from Pandi, Bulacan. He's 32 seconds behind Mangoso. Uh, he's a young kid, like Napat, only 22 years old. So, already beating the likes of rider behind him, Makina Gilar, who is a few years older than him. And a uh, long way to go. Balita ko, napakaraming mga upcoming na mga novice and intermediate rider sa Mindanao right now. And uh, sana yan ang uh, supportahan ng ating mga organizers at papuntahin. Kasi we just have seven in the starting gate here. J.R. Giboni didn't line up anymore. Walo sana. And we hope Ompong Gabriel will heal up. So we need more riders. So two, two laps, one and a half more for Ralph Ramento. So what a trap. Sobrang ganda ng race track. Kudos to Sir George Joy Lalin. Uh, so, so, it's a pleasure to be here. Alam nyo, we nag-drive ako ng 9 hours to be here. Kasi, my son, Joshua, is super excited to try this box raceway replica. Yun nga, sa super na sobrang excitement niya, nabalian. <laughs> Unang set pa lang, kasi tinira ho ng tinira yung mga jump. Ayan, lakas ng hangin. Nag-flatland on a small wheel. So, magandang suspension. So, he has a compression fracture in his wrist. But, God is good pa rin. Kasi Caleb got him to the top of the impact. Oh, look at this. Mangoso, lap Mitra. So, there you go. We have the winner. And, uh, Ralph Romento, he, he's got this in the back. Approaching the last and final lap. Ralph needs to, Ralph can uh, just really slow down. Grabbing pago do ng mga rider. Jeric Meter is just not even doubling. And Jeff Weirel is not even doubling. Looking behind them kung nandun na yung kalaban nila sa position. Ganun po katagal ang 20 minutes plus 2. 20 minutes plus 2. Bornok mga song, what can I say? 2 overall in Abra 2023. The long overall in the Expert Open, in the Pro Open. Wow. Pero ang pinaka magandang discovery ng Abreyenyo, kung ang yung mga tawag sa mga taga dito, is the warrior, Terence Napat. The only guy that has the raw speed right off the bat. Take note, wala pa po yung kanyang motor na where he's familiar with. Thank you, Pat. Nagpapa-thank you siya kay Kuya Bebet, legendary, legend of the sport, Bebet de la Cruz, for uh, lending him the bike. And uh, suspension setup is different kasi no, uh, he's a vet, si Bebet. And uh, nakakatuwa yung ibang mga pro rider, hinihintay si Ralph na lapan sila pa, hindi na sila umigot ng isa pa. <laughs> Kasi ganun yun. So anyway, last time in the sand section. Ito si Ralph Romento. He's, he's uh, about to lap. Fifth position in JC Reliosa. So the current running order is Romento, Mangosong, Antonio, Aguilar, and JC Reliosa. So uh, here's JC, he's gonna give it to Ralph and he's gonna congratulate Ralph. And he would want Ralph to get past him para hindi na siya umikot ng isa pa, sobrang pagod. 
he's so happy. Jay-Z is rejoicing with him. Uh, true sportsman. Magkasama sila sa training. Nakikita ko minsan nagbabike sila together. So here's the champion. Last turn. Last two turns. The Diesel of Philippine Motocross. Last time in this tabletop. Last turn. All the way to the pride of Marikina. Roar from Mento. Number 15, checker flag. And uh, JC Rizosa will finish fifth position. And here's Bornok Mangosong. Inalis na niya yung kanya uh, goggles. <laughs> Mangosong, final time in the tabletop. Just roll over it. And last turn, the overall for the day with a 2-1, two, one, um, one, two. Bornok Mangosong is your pro open overall champion. What a win for the king of Philippine motocross, Bornok Mangosong. Ang layo pa po ng third position, nandito pa sila sa... Okay, so Buboy Antonio. We'll probably get third overall. Most likely kasi... Akin yan. Wala si Terence. So, what a good ride for Buboy Antonio, 22-year-old. And his fellow 22-year-old, Terence Napat. Uh, however, Terence got a huge get-off. So, obrang lakas po ng semplang in the rollers. And, uh... I hope he's fine. Nakita ko naman na tumayo si Terence, pero you saw my post in MX Versailles, bloody hands. There's Bubo Antonio checking in in third. Alright, this is Coach Sam Tamayo. Like our page, MX Versailles. Congratulations, Kong Mayor JB Bernos and George Salin. To God be the glory. Hey guys.